everybody, this is Rattle Hellcat back at you again with another cool video. The weather outside in New Jersey, it's not too bad. It's actually a nice spring day. It's about 82 degrees outside, nice sunny day. But today, it's gonna be a nice quick video. I know the last two videos have been pretty long. We did the, the leg maker intake, which took about three hours and we ended it down to 46 minutes. We did the boiler attack full cat pack exhaust system that took about three hours and that was edited down to a little bit less than an hour so hope you enjoyed those videos but they were very in-depth very detailed and necessary i got it edited down to the bare minimum and i hope you enjoyed them but this one i promise will be a short short video because we're going to do another quick install you saw the thumbnail you saw the title it's going to be with built technologies more engine bling for the track hog. so without further ado let me unbox what we got Another cool box from Nick Billet at Built Technologies. Now, I'm hoping he sent me a few boxes <laughs> because we not only have mods for the track off, but I think we have some Billet technology coming for the Hellcat as well. But I believe this box is for the track off. So without further ado, let me unbox it for you. Okay, scissors did their job. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we, we, we know what this is. This thing's nice, this thing's massive. But let me, oh yeah, this, this is something that's brand new for the Trackhawk. If you remember, I did a whole bunch of build technologies for the Trackhawk originally. And I had said that I ordered every piece you could possibly order for the Trackhawk at the time, it was back in what, September? Well, in November, around Black Friday time, this piece became available for the track hog, brand new for the track hog. Hermetically sealed, of course. Thank you, Nick. Make sure it's nice and protected. Okay, we have the scissors still. Unpack it, and yet we don't want to damage anything. So, oh, let's get this. Wow, it's like paper in the box, the box itself. Get the bubble wrap, and now you have this paper towel that's actually also taped to the. Oh, this is going to look nice. Oh, look at this. This is sweetness right here. Yeah, I'll give you a close up. So this is what we didn't have before and this is the supercharger cover. The supercharger cover for the Trackhawk. Um, I don't know if they ever made this for the Hellcat but this is for the Trackhawk and that's what we're gonna do today. So that's what it looks like. We did it in the satin finish again. It looks absolutely perfect. It looks like it's gonna be the, my fun, my funnest thing in the world, the adhesive strip, which if you remember, took almost uh, two years to take off, but we finally figured out how to take those off. So this is gonna be like a stick -em. This is gonna be a stick -em application. That's why this video is gonna be so quick. So without further ado, we got the track walk in the reverse position. Let me spin her around, pop open the hood, and we'll install this bad boy. So without further ado, let me flip the track walk around. We'll get this installation started. Look at this. It looks perfect. Okay, let me put this down in a safe spot. All right, let me get the track walk spinning around. Do like a pseudo cold start. All right, not a cold start because I just had it out before I just, just went to the car wash. So, not a cold start, but nonetheless, it sounds still awesome, doesn't it? Portal attack.
keep forgetting that if you do the remote start and then you rev it, it shuts off. So that's what happened. Sorry about that. All right. I digress. All right. Let's go. Let's uh, pop the hood. And I'll take my other camera, see what we're working with here. All right. Here's the build technologies that we've already. Let's just do a quick review. I haven't already seen my other video, which you really should. Let's review all the billet technology that we put in so far. So we have the, uh, the oil cap, we have the power steering cap. And this is my one of my favorite pieces right here. This is the bypass valve cover, which has the 707 horsepower etched in. One of my favorite pieces. Love it, love it, love it. Of everything that I have so far, this is definitely my favorite piece. And guess what? I think we, we're gonna get one for the Hellcat as well. So stay tuned. We got the oil catch can. We have the radiator cap. Now we had the new freeze cap, but I took that off when I got it serviced. The same thing with the water. Uh, I took both of those off. I gotta put those back on. But like I said, this is for the video that we're gonna be doing today. And we also have the fuse cap. So this is what is going to be put on today. This is the supercharger reservoir, and that is the cover that we just purchased. So the first step would be to take this uh, off. Ooh, very hot. It's still hot. Let's do something that won't burn my hands. All right, take this off. Oh, do not open when it's hot. Oh. here all right so there's our reservoir i'm gonna clean it real quick and then we'll put we'll do the install all right nice and clean so the next step is to install this bad boy so here we go again one more time, I'm just going to take this tape, peel it back. Get this on the first shot. First corner. It's coming off. Oh, look at that. Came right off real quick. Let's go. I'm so excited to install this. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's give you a close up. All right, it's installed and it fits perfect. You can tell it fits perfect because look, they put the notches in right where the plastic is and they lined up perfectly. So this looked really, really, really good. All right, so the next step is to put the cap on. So, the cap's still hot, nah, it's a bit hot. Back on. Oops, yeah. All right, looks good. So, we have the Reservoir cap installed. That looks really, really good. I am very happy with it. Very happy with it. Looks really cool. Oops. You know what? I don't think this is put on right. Let's do this again. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. All right. Let me fix this cap. I'll be right back. Took a little extra work, but it's on there right now because I knew that it didn't look right because the supercharger is supposed to be lined up perfect. That's the way we put the cap on the first time and we put the lock screw on based on that. So this is now on perfect. So without further ado, I think this install is complete. So in the next video, we're gonna now have to clean all this stuff. I also wanna reinstall this and I'm gonna reinstall this, but this video is all about the supercharger reservoir cover. 
and I just think it looks fantastic. So without further ado, I'll give you my final thoughts on this video. Okay, final thoughts. Well, I think it looks fantastic. Just another quality billet technologies piece that when you open the engine bay, it just goes bling. It's the engine bling that we're, that, I don't know, this, this supercharged Hellcat motor looks epic in the Trackhawk, but when you add this bling to it, it just pops, it pops everywhere. I mean, we have the leg maker, and then that's on the right-hand side. Now we have all these billet, cool billet pieces on the left-hand side. It looks absolutely fantastic. Let me move over here so you can get a better look. I mean, take a look at all that bling. It's just, that's what you want. That's what you want when you open the hood of your car. You want to show it off. And the built technology uh, in the satin finish, it just says blank. So I give it the two thumbs up. And there's also a concern that I had with regard to the uh, the levels of the, the, the fluid. So I what I did was I removed it in between takes. In between edits, I removed it. So this way I disabled the, uh, the stickum piece. I disabled it. I just figured if I ever wanted to go and check the supercharger coolant, I want to have the ability to take it off. And right now, I feel as though the cap is going to keep the cover on. It's not going to move. It's not going to shake. It's not going to come off. So I don't need that stick. Em. I don't need the stick. So this way I can just take it off and make sure that I'm it. Because it, I already know where the minimum is going to be. There's a lip. Oh, wait. I'll show you real quick. So right here, there's a lip where the fluid would get down to the bottom of that lip. That's where I know that where the minimum is, but there's also a maximum line. And now I know right where it is now is it's at the max. Unless I drew a line there where the fluid is right now, that's the only way for me to tell because the min and the max were right here and it got covered. So rather than take that chance and rather, rather than have to deal with it, and also if I'm adding antifreeze, to the supercharger uh, reservoir. I'm not gonna want the cover on there as well, just in case it spills. So what I plan on doing is I'll take the cap off and I'll take the cover off and then I'll have my minimum and maximum full view. So the only time I have, actually have to be concerned is if this ever gets down to the lip, I know it went down to the minimum. And then to fill it, I'll just take the cap off, take the cover off and problem solved on that one. So in the meantime, I have perfect bling and full protection. So there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's nice and short. Oh my God. I don't know what it's going to be edited down to, but it's definitely going to be less than 20 minutes. <laughs> yes, it's definitely going to be a short video for you to watch, to enjoy. Another mod for the Trackhawk. I'm looking forward to more mods. I got more things coming for the Trackhawk. I got more things coming for the Hellcat. Obviously, maybe I'll let the cat out of the bag with uh, the bypass cover. We, we might be getting some engine bling soon for the Hellcat. We haven't gotten any yet. The only thing that's engine bling in the Hellcat right now is the, is the oil catch kit. There's no other build technologies in there. So that's all going to change. That's all going to change. Also, stay tuned for the video I'm going to be doing. The next video I think I'm going to do for the track cars is that the build technologies of the, that's in here now has to be clean. That's one of the reasons why the windshield wiper cap is missing and the other cap is missing because they needed to be clean anyway. So we're going to experiment and clean with those and anything that I use to clean those two pieces will clean the rest of the little pieces. So and there's a special way to do it. We have, uh, I've been going back and forth with Nick as to the best way to do it. There's several different ways of going about it. I'm going to experiment with each and every one and I'll let you know which one's the best way to go. That's all I'm going to say for now. <laughs> So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit the like button. Share the video with all the people that you know and comment. Put a comment in on anything you, you would like to see going forward or, or how you like this mod. Any questions about the mod, let me know. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Tap the bell notification. So this way, when I post new videos, you'll get notified right away. And thank you, thank you, thank you for my current subscribers. Do appreciate each and every one of you that watch my videos. I do appreciate your support. We're approaching 400 subscribers. So hopefully day by day, week by week, we'll get to that thousand subscriber threshold. That's my goal for now. And thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Stay safe. I know we're still in a COVID-19 pandemic, but as long as everyone stays safe out there, all you can do is all you can do. Keep washing your hands sanitize, don't touch your face, uh, face coverings, social distancing is the key. We'll all get through this together. But in the meantime, enjoy the fresh air when you can. 
and enjoy this nice weather. It has been nice out all day today. It's towards the end of May. It's almost June. So enjoy the nice weather that we're having, especially in New Jersey. And again, be safe. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. So without further ado, we're going to end this video. I always give you the peace out. So we're going to say peace, 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 peace. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Peace.